Fingers are in. Ribs are in. Bulkheads are in. The glass are in, and the two main bulkheads are in. <sighs> it's our turn. <laughs> The next step for us is going to be to do the rest of the bulkheads. But before we do that, we definitely want to clean up the hall and prepare as much yeah. as we can, including removing the peel ply yeah. and we'll, cleaning um, the boat. Yeah, because we'll be grinding down where we're going to be tabbing the bulkheads in, but that's going to be more of a surgical grinding we can do with the file sander and the vacuum cleaner. So it's not going to create nearly as much mess. But before we clean up, we have one more demo project to do. This guy. We've decided to take the cabin liner down. This wasn't a, something that we've planned on doing from the beginning because we always thought we were going to build around it. I think it needs to come out because we're cutting out a lot of it anyway yeah. and it's patchy, especially in the V-birth, yeah. that it doesn't make sense to just And there's it big in. voids behind it. It's not structural, it's just aesthetic and it's heavy and it's kind of a waste of weight and material. It adds no structural integrity to the deck because it's just sort of like some gobs of resin holding it in from in a couple of places, but uh, at least in the V-birth, it looks like it's going to come out really easy. We haven't really tried this yet, but we'll replace it with, with something cleaner, better, easy, something we can remove so we can inspect the, the underside of the deck. Last demo project. The last demo project. I feel like we keep saying that. We've <laughs> been saying that for like a year. But this one is really the last demo project. <laughs> and after that, we clean the hall and it's yep. building. So, are you excited? Yeah. You ready? Let's, let's, let's mask let's up. Let's suit up. Let's mask up and get to work. What follows is a brief construction montage. <sighs> we hope you enjoyed this brief construction montage. A lot of it came off quite easily. We wanted to take off like most of the cabin liner as like big pieces, but it turns out that some sections like the front of the V berth, we could only get it in like little chunks. And then other sections like um, by the port light here was just like, impossible to take out. <laughs> because we managed, didn't manage. <laughs> this was the easy part. Now we're gonna do all of this needs to come out. Do you think we're gonna be able to do this today? Hold on. Maybe we'll find out. All right, going.
Well, day one of Cabin Top demo is complete. It's putting up quite the fight, and it's a little bit harder than we were expecting. We still have this big, like, chunk in the middle to do. Oh, feels good to rip it out, though. Um, we discovered a, a whole lot of moisture up in the ceiling, like where there's cracks in the liner. There's these little, like, red like sort of crystallized paste that comes through and it almost looks like <laughs> Uma's bleeding. We could never figure out what it was but it's because there's trap condensation in the ceiling. Don't really know how it got there. Maybe there's air gaps that goes all the way through and maybe something leaked but there was a lot of like moisture that came out from up there. You can actually see where all the leaks have been coming down over the years. So it's all like gross mildew leaky stuff. Under here it's a little wet and then underneath, and then it comes out down there somewhere. It's really good that we're ripping it down so we can dry it out, paint it, clean it, and get rid of all the mold and mildew, and have a much cleaner and easier to access surface in the future. So if we ever need to install anything or change a light or run a wire or whatever, uh, it'll be easier to access. Look how much work we did. All this has been removed. The birth except for this little section down here is pretty much good to go. Um, you can see like, it's just these little sections where the laminate was sticking into the roof. And now it's uh, really just this last big section in the middle that needs to be done. So it's still going to be a decent amount of grinding to get it all cleaned up. Uh, probably one more day of ripping it apart and then a day of grinding. Um, and, then, and then we'll be good to go. But it's definitely, it's definitely going to be worth it to have a nice, like, clean, accessible ceiling. All right, time for a shower, and uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow. All right, we're back for round two, day two of removing the cabin liner and we actually found some real Tyvek suits locally. So hopefully they'll be able to keep the itch down a little bit. Um, the ones we were using before were just like a thin fabric sort of thing. that's meant to keep like paint off of you, but they weren't actually meant to keep, these are like category three Tyvek suits. So hopefully it will be a little bit less itchy today. Um, but it's gonna be a lot of grinding today because we've kind of hammered and chiseled and smacked off as much as can come off manually. And now it's time to get the grinder out and grind. What are you doing today? I'm uh, working on the truck today. <laughs> That's why I'm in the suit. Then I'm not going to be in the suit today. <laughs> what are you doing in the truck today? We've been renovating the truck. Renovating the truck. Yeah, um, building out the back. So building out the back. In. And so today I'm just going to paint all up inside. It's yeah. really windy. It's so windy today. Yeah, we got a mist straw blowing through. We didn't get a very good night's sleep last night because even on land we have to look at wind forecasts because when we're sleeping in a rooftop tent, it blows a lot. In the wind. We've been using the truck as like a prototype for what we're doing in the boat. We've been testing all the materials, all the paint, all the stuff we're going to be adding to the truck. Mm -hmm. All the stuff we're going to be adding to the boat, we've been testing on the truck. Trialing in the truck. Yeah. This is white epoxy paint that we found. It's still white. like a little bit tacky, but I didn't do a very good job mixing it, so that might be my fault because it's just a tiny little bit. It's definitely kind of a it's yellow eggshell. Yeah. If you guys want to tour that, let us know, and um, we can add that to a video. All right, well, I'm gonna be in here. Have fun. Enjoy not being in here. Time today. laughs you. So I'll know what you're doing. <laughs> Do it. But work class. It's a good playlist.
bust it. Ceiling is ground. Took a lot more work than I think I was expecting. That was almost an entire day in the rebirth. It's now almost three o'clock in the afternoon. It's gonna be at least two more days of grinding to finish the salon, but I think it's gonna be worth it. All right, back for day two of grinding and removing out the old cabin liner. The rebirth's looking pretty good. Cleaned up really nicely, we've got like a relatively smooth finish. The goal is that we're gonna put one layer of glass over all of this because the deck itself is only kind of ever in compression. And so this bottom layer, if we make it a tiny bit stiffer and newer glass, newer material, newer resin, uh, and sort of unify this whole structure, that'll add a lot of structural integrity to our deck. Cause there's actually, especially in the salon, there's some relatively large unsupported sections. So now that all of this is out and clean, we can put just like one layer of glass over everything, and then we can start with bulkheads and everything else. So that's what needs to happen in the salon as well. Part of the squeaky floor. So all this still needs to come out. We've gotten like most of the sections on the side done, um, but we have to get rid of these cabin top rails because they are in the way of removing the next sections. So Kika's gonna help me with that this morning, and then She's gonna be working on the outside of the boat, filling up all the holes in the exterior so that no more water comes in while I finish grinding and chipping out the inside of this. Um, one of the fun annoyances is that these cabin lights, we were never able to change because the wiring for them was glassed in underneath this cabin liner. So another reason why we're getting rid of the cabin liner, just lots and lots of reasons. Yeah, all right, time to grind. You see the moisture? Like it's soaked. Morning of day three, grinding the inside of the cabin top. But um, this is my flapper disc. That's 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 what was left of it. So I picked up a new one <laughs> before and after. The only downside to brand new ones is that like this edge is really um, angular and sharp, and it digs into glass a lot. It's much better to have sort of like a rounded edge. So I'm probably gonna take this to like some concrete or some steel or something to try to like wear that edge down just a little bit before I take it into the boat. Uh, these are also 40 grit, so should make quick work of the rest of the cabin top. Grinding for three days in a row sucks, especially the ceiling, because like all of this is just super sore from like pushing to grind. If you can like grind for 30 seconds, you have to like take a minute break to shake it out. You can like grind for 30 seconds, take a minute to shake it out. There's probably a better way, but we're almost done. So, and then, and then, and then we'll be done major grinding. Like there's always little bits and pieces, but we're done major grinding on the inside of the boat. So remember like before when we said we're done grinding, well, now we're actually gonna be done grinding.
Well, the power just died here. And apparently the power to the entire yard is out. Kika's been doing editing and like admin work all morning. Um, so she brought our like EcoFlow battery. You think we have a battery? So, it's heavy, man. We'll see how long it lasts. We've got an upgraded one. So it's like a two kilowatt version. And both the grinders technically run like 750 watts each. But if we shut them off while we're like stretching and shaking out our arms, it might last all day. We'll see. We've never, never done that before. But also the drawers for the truck are all sanded and painted. So, uh, and all the prep work outside is done. So Kika's gonna help me grind today. So she gets to wear a monkey suit too. <laughs> There's no sizes of monkey suit that fit me. I look like a white Michelin man. Like the smallest size is a large because small people don't do boat work apparently. Or any kind of work. <laughs> you're too small. Kind of you're too work. small to do. I'm any too small dirty to do work. any work. I leave it or not, but this is day four mm -hmm. of grinding. Mm -hmm. It goes to show like the simple task like grinding the ceiling and taking off the liner. We thought it was going to take a day. And this is day four. Story of boat life boat or life. boat work life. Mm -hmm. Everything yeah. takes longer think, than you think it does. <laughs> if the battery lasts or the power turns back on, I think we'll get 99% of it done today. But there'll always be like little stuff we need to do before we are actually finished, finished. Yeah, for protection. Hopefully, I don't need to take off the gloves. to do yeah and then and not much more to do and then here and then so yeah. just like basically like act we're good to go like we just all the way from the bow all the way to the last uh like for like so far yeah that's right <laughs> but hopefully the power's back tomorrow and then we can continue <laughs> <laughs>
Whoa. Ah. <laughs> we, we've this. done it. I know it's funny because it probably doesn't look any different than last week, but well, I assure I mean, all of you, there looks different. we've done a lot this oh. week. Yeah, it was, a, it was a very productive week. So the, the cabin top liner, um, it was, so the way these are built is like the, the deck is built in a mold upside down and the cabin top liner is built in a mold upside right. And then they're kind of like squished together with a little bit of resin and then installed. Um, the cabin top liner in some places was like probably half an inch thick, like 12 mils, and in some places it was super, super thin. Mm -hmm. And so it came off in sort of weird chunks. And like, it wasn't really structural because it wasn't like properly bonded to the deck, but it definitely added some rigidity because it was like a layer semi-bonded underneath. Next steps, now that the boat is completely cleaned up, um, I th we probably can wash it, maybe not rinse it, yeah, but we, yeah. we'll wipe it again with um, some maybe acetone. It depends what order we do things in. Lightly sand. We definitely need to do a layer of glass on the ceiling and fill in some yes. of the voids. Oh um, yeah, I was going to say. And we're actually probably going to put like really, really thin little ribs on the ceiling so that we can stick like a panel, like a cosmetic panel to it. So that we don't have to worry too much about fairing it and making yeah. it all pretty. So we ground down, we removed the ceiling, well the ceiling liner, and it was not a structural element, but now that we ground out all of it, you mm -hmm. can kind of feel the difference when you're walking on deck, mm -hmm. it flexes a little bit more than we want to. Yeah. So I so think we're definitely depth, gonna be so. we're definitely gonna be adding a layer of glass yeah. on the roof. On, and then on the on sides the where the port lights were, we're going to be glassing in all the port lights because we're going to be moving them and installing completely different yeah. ones because those ones absolutely sucked and they're the bane of our existence and we've hated them for 10 years. And we're probably going to be coring the side deck where the port lights were to make it thicker. Uh, that's probably going to be the next project is doing that glass work. And then once that is done, we'll probably like gel coat and paint the whole interior and then start putting bulkheads in. <sighs> I'm glad we took that out. There was so much moisture up there. Um, I'm really glad we took that out. Now that now we're gonna know what's up there and where it's coming from and how it looks and everything. So this is gonna be so good because we're going to know every single yeah, yeah. millimeter of this boat. Well, nothing's gonna be hidden anymore. Like no. before, there was a hull, a, a, a cabin sole liner that hit a bunch of stuff, and there was a deck liner that hit a bunch of stuff. And so, like, there was huge parts of our hull we had no access to, um, and like behind the water tanks and stuff, it was just weird. So. It's really good that we're going to have access to everything now and we're going to be able to see everything and, and mm -hmm. know where leaks are coming from and know if there's damage anywhere and know if, you know, something's wrong. So Yeah, for sure. I like it. I like I it like too. It. I'm good. exhausted though. It's, it's good been a we long do. week. Yeah, I need like a massage. Like, <laughs> like, time lapses probably make it look easy, but spending eight hours a day for four days, like, pushing a grinder up on the ceiling, like everything I feel it in the back of my here. neck and everything like yeah here and then in my forearms for and pushing like, the grinder here. oh yeah here <laughs> it's like every time i look up it like kinks my neck now yeah how we stay fit during a boat project you just do the boat project yeah <laughs> just I or how to be in pain all the time that's another that's i another thought one. it was going to come out easier to be fair yeah. i thought that we were going to smack it with a hammer and a pry bar and the whole thing was just going to pop down but I didn't realize just how much resin they used to squish it up there, so. Yeah, yeah. Um, you thought it was going to be out okay. in a day. I it's did. been like five days, this is, so. This is day five. But it's boat work. It's never as fast as you think it is. Now that the, si the outside's glassed, and now that the inside's glassed, and now that all the bulkheads are gonna be glassed to the, cabin, the bottom of the cabin. She's gonna be solid. She's gonna be super solid. And she's not gonna squeak. Guys, if I hear one squeak when we go sailing, that's it, I'm done with <laughs> I'm kidding. I mean, for the first like, couple squeak. of sails, she's gonna creak and squeak and crack and moan and groan because it's gonna be, everything's gonna be like shaking out whatever tension we put but in. But do you like, remember how oh, yeah, much, yeah. how noisy it was before? Like I'm we excited. couldn't. We couldn't sleep inside the boat while we were yeah. sailing. We couldn't do anything say. inside because it was so loud. I'm excited to sail offshore and not need to sleep with earplugs. Oh, right. That's what I'm Do people for. do that? Yeah. You can sleep without earplugs. Everybody else in the world sleeps without earplugs. And you can hear the ocean rather than like... <laughs> DJ Uma. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm excited for. Okay. Yeah, that's a good build to journey towards. 
Um, but long yeah. way to go before we can test that. Yep. So in the meantime, we'll see you guys next week. So we're going to bed. Oh my god, my legs are asleep. Oh, oh. My back hurts. My foot doesn't act doesn't doesn't respond. Oh, I'm getting too old for this shit. <laughs> oh.